it's a really hard name to have. Um, I always used to worry um, about someone stealing my identity, but then I thought, you know what? If you can spell both names correctly, you probably earned it. <laughs> I'm actually not worried about someone stealing my identity anymore. Actually, I'm a little more excited about it these days because I'm like, what if someone stole my identity and then they made something of myself? <laughs> and maybe they'll finish law school. <laughs> so exciting. I want you guys to know something about me. I want you to know that I was the 1994 Book It champion. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty impressive. If you're not familiar with what Book It is, it was a program that combined childhood literacy with childhood obesity. <laughs> It just meant that for every number of books you read, you got a free pizza from Pizza Hut. <laughs> and it was amazing. <laughs> Except after a certain point in time, schools are like, no, now you have to read the book with no pizza. <laughs> so I stopped reading the book, because there's no incentive anymore. But it gets you into a load of trouble, because I was supposed to read this book um, it was called Night. Anybody read that book? All right, we're all on the same page. Didn't read the book. I didn't read it, but I hear tell that it's about concentration camps during World War II. And so on the test, they're just like, well, what is a concentration camp is question number one. And I wrote, and I didn't read the book. I wrote, a concentration camp is a place where people go to think about what they've done. <laughs> I can make things awkward. Sometimes I can make them awkward in my favor. Like this guy was shouting across the street to me. He goes, hey, yo, what's up, white chocolates? And the way that I handled that was, oh my god. Thank you so much. I really needed that today. <laughs> I started feeling some guilt though, because he called me white chocolate, and I know in my heart of hearts I'm not white chocolate. Because what he doesn't know is that underneath this layer of expertly applied makeup is the skin condition known as rosacea. <laughs> I am not white chocolate, and peppermint bark at best. <laughs> so despite being kind of, you know, candy-like under this you know, makeup, I am dating. Uh, I dated somebody for a little while who had a hunchback. I'm gonna be the girl who said no to the guy with the hunchback. And uh, I, you know, one day I just kind of felt up his back and I was just like, oh yeah. Because if there's first base and second base and third base, this guy's back has got to be the pitcher's mound, right? <laughs> I'm gonna finish up real quick for you guys. Um, I had a rash a couple weeks ago on my arms, and I went to tell the receptionist to try and leave work, and she goes, let me pray for you. <laughs> but before she could wait for the answer, she is on the rash praying, and I'm like, oh my god, Helen, that's contagious. <laughs> and I don't know if it worked or not. All I know is I don't want Helen anywhere near me when I have a yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. My name is Callie.